Oh, good evening, everyone. Bearded Welshman here. Just wanted to uh, finish out the day with one last smoke and uh, shoot a quick video. First of all, some housekeeping. Got my Southern Comfort on the rocks. All those of you out there just like me that work hard all week, cheers. So we can relax on the weekend, enjoy our pipes. I'm also drinking some of my newly acquired coffee. So I wanted to give you a coffee review. That is from St. Thomas Roasters out in Lingolstown, Pennsylvania. Uh, that is their Guatemala Antigua blend. It's a mild coffee, really good. Uh, I usually drink my coffee black. Sometimes I put a dash of sugar in there because it helps if it's too strong. Um, I also checked out a coffee shop down in Middletown today. It was really, really neat. Uh, I grew up in that town and to see that building turned into a, uh, a brew house like everybody's doing now. But now they do coffee there. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So I'll have information on. St. Thomas Roasters at the bottom of this thing. And just uh, want to talk about some of my pipes that I purchased. Uh, estate pipes, we got cleaned up. And I smoked a couple of them this weekend. Normally, when I smoke a pipe, I usually smoke uh, morning, midday, maybe uh, maybe two in the afternoon or in the evening. But uh, before we go any further, I'm going to Finish my day with my favorite pipe right now. My uh, country gentleman. I got some fireside blended from uh, the tobacco company up in Harrisburg. And uh, I thought I'd finish off the day with my favorite pipe. Got a little bite tip on there tonight. I've been chewing this one up. I got extra stems. But I don't want to have to go through them quickly for one. I don't have to. With uh, some fireside. Figured I'd save my Dunhill early morning for the early mornings. But uh, yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go to bed soon. Because. I get up and go dark 30 and I start my trucking again. So for those of you that are kind of truck drivers, we're in it together. Hey, I wanted to thank the new subscribers today. River Rat 74 gave me a really nice shout out and I'm honored. Um, He's one cool cat. Uh, I like watching his channel. Down to earth guy. Check him out if you don't haven't seen him. River Rat 74. Uh, just a really good guy. I I was really I was really honored for what he had to say about me and my channel. Uh, he's just a cool dude. Just one cool dude. Hey, brother. To you, River Rat 74. We'll need to get together someday down the road, either in person or on YouTube and have a drink and smoke. But uh, great weekend, busy weekend for us. Today we decided to slow it down a little bit. I was in my study, decided to lay down on the couch for a little bit and watch American Pickers. 
And I uh, thought I'd just lay down for a couple minutes, you know. And I fell asleep for about an hour. That's the first nap I've taken in a long time. So I must have been tired. But, uh... My newly acquired pipes. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm really digging the Curtis Draper. Smoked it today. Uh, smoked some burly white in that. I always test my pipes out with the burly white or fireside. I can really get a good, for some reason, uh, I can really get a good uh, check on how well that pipe's going. And I really like the Curtis Draper, so I'm taking that with me in the truck tomorrow. The Bertram, just as good, had had that. Those two pipes cleaned up really nice. Sorry about the light fading in and out. We're getting ready to see the sun go down. But uh, the Draper and the Bertram, they really turn out to be good pipes. I'm going to keep them. So, as I was saying, Thank you to the new subscribers. Thank you for the shout outs. Uh, there's a lot of people I could be thanking on here that I've gotten to know since I've started YouTube in here a little over a week. And the uh, channel's growing fast. I got some exciting things on the horizon. Uh, I got some products to work on. I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. Take that bit, my bit piece out of there. But uh, guy that got me into this whole thing, Ray Bailey. Check out his channel. Uh, I think he's over seventy-one thousand subscribers right now. And that is pretty good. And there's a reason. That he has that many subscribers on his channel. The man's good at what he does. He's good. Uh, he's also known as the Silver Sultan of Silver. George Bruno. He's an expert, expert with beard grooming. For those of my fellow pipers that have got beards. Growing them out. Check out some of... Gray Bailey's videos on uh, tips for the beard. He is one of the top, if not the top, beard groomers in the world. Really good. And he had a beautiful beard. Shaved it down, and that's his thing. You know, he shaved it down. But he grew it out for a year. And that's what I'm doing with mine. I, you saw my picture, my profile picture. Uh, I was long then, but I had it longer than that. And then I shaved it down for the winter. Excuse me. And uh, finally, the air conditioner shut off. But Gray Bailey, he, he's the one I really got to thank. He got me into YouTube, and I'm enjoying it. It's become a new hobby, passion, whatever you want to call it. Heck, I said to my wife, it's my midlife crisis, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's either this or go buy an expensive motorcycle. And, uh... I don't ride anymore. I used to. Another shout out to Gray Bailey. Yeah, thank you, George. Thank you for a lot of the things I'm learning. I watch your videos. I'm Jones and brother. I'm Jones and I need another pipe session video from you. So George, if you can get us a pipe session video, talk to us a little bit about pipes, something you're smoking. What you're into at the moment, what tobacco you're into, what pipe you're into, that'd be great. We'd love to hear from you. Also, uh, NW Pipe Smoker, Tom. Tom's a guy that everybody, I think, wants to have a beer with.
he just when when you watch his channel and you listen to him, you just feel like you're sitting right there with him. I mean, it, it just brings you right along into his life. Uh, I envy him where he lives. He's got a nice little setup. Check him out, NW Pipe Smoker up in Pacific Northwest. Uh, he's got some great things. He turned me on to a guy down here, not far from me, that is a pipe maker, Jake Hacker. And he has uh, an eBay, or an Etsy site, I think it is, or an eBay site. He sells Jake Hacker, H-A-C-K-E-R-T. I'll have that stuff in here, too. Uh, he makes pipe. He's local. I'm actually looking at some of his. And the guru on the bayou in southern Louisiana, or Louisiana, as they say. Guru. I used to go through Louisiana on my Texas trips when I hauled over the road. And I was like right on the southern section of Louisiana, cross Highway 10. Man, I'll tell you what, that is a beautiful state. And the western part of the state's different than the eastern, but man, I'll tell you what, down there along Lake Pontchartrain and some of the other lakes that are down that way and, and uh, I got, out of, I got out of the truck one night at a truck stop my first trip down to Texas. And I, stopped, I had at several stops in Louisiana always when I went down. And uh, this older fella sees me get out of my truck. And, uh, you ain't from around here, are you? I said, no, sir, I'm not. He said, you never get out of a truck like that when you're in this truck lot, in this parking lot. I was at a pilot truck stop. Okay. So, uh, didn't understand why. He proceeded to show me a sign. I didn't realize it because it was night we're surrounded by swamps <laughs> no figure no way not Louisiana he said you never know if there's an alligator or some snake at the base of your truck steps you don't get out of a truck like that I'll tell you one thing I never get out of my truck like that again at night time, I always had a flashlight and I looked down. I always carried my I had a concealed carry weapon. I always carried my weapon, but I never ran into anything. I never had a problem. I love Louisiana. I love it. Love the people down there. Love the Cajuns. Good people. Tried some Cajun food. Uh, gumbo's a little more than what I can handle. <laughs> and I mean, I suffered. So, uh, but anyhow, Guru, Bayou, Guru on the Bayou, he's making pipes. Check out some of his stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I think I might get Guru on the Bayou. Uh, might have to get in touch with him. He gave me his email. I'm gonna have to get in touch with him. See if I can get a nice pipe, a custom pipe made from him. Same thing with Jake Hacker. Uh, I'll check that guy out a little bit more. And I want to support my fellow YouTubers first, because I don't know if Jake has a channel. But uh, anyhow, it's been a great weekend. my SoCo. Washing it down with some Guatemala Antigua. Uh, that is a good cup of coffee. Gonna enjoy the sound of the highway. I'm sure you can hear it.
finish up my smoke. I'm going to call the night go bed. Like I said, I get up at oh dark 30 tomorrow. I got to I gotta be to work early tomorrow. Turn them down to Waldorf, Maryland. I love going down to Maryland. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's, you know, you hit some traffic. Cause it's always rush hour. But it uh, gives me a chance to put the YouTube channel on. Plug it into my radio. This and all my fellow pipe smokers. I do. I listen to, I listen to a lot of you folks subscribe to a lot of you folks. I, found, I feel like I found a whole bunch of new friends um, and we have one thing in common and that's right here, smoking pipe, relaxing, and we enjoy life together. So to all of you, bid you a sweet and blessed evening. I will be back on tomorrow. Cheers. Light them up.